Hi everyone and welcome to Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. I'm Dr. Fantastic, your host. I'm going to bring you some amazing interviews from people from all over the world. Real people. These interviews are inspirational. They're, they're motivational. They're fun. All sorts of things. But I'm trying to instill upon people to be fantastic. Being fantastic makes you live longer, makes you happier, makes the world a better place. Stay tuned. You're going to see some great interviews. I'm fantastic. Nous, Nous sommes fantastic. I am fantastic. <laughs> I am fantastic. I am fantastic. 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 <laughs> We, we are, are fantastic. fantastic. I am fantastic. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. Are we total strangers? You're my Uber driver, I guess so. <laughs> you guess so? We've met, we've met, we've talked, so no, you're not. You're not a complete stranger. How long have we known each other? About 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Has it been? It's been five minutes, but uh, I appreciate the compliment. Oh. <laughs> so, but you know, we just met. Yeah, we okay, just met. Okay, okay, that's, I get that clear because I thought she started to look familiar. And maybe I did drive her before, and maybe we're not complete strangers. <laughs> so, as you all know, uh, my goal is to make a million people fantastic. How are you this morning, by the way? Fantastic. There you go. So, 1138, by the way, everybody. Um, and on that quest, my goal has been, and a lot of people have recommended to Ellen to be on the show because uh, she says every day, be kind to one another. And being fantastic is being kind. If you can make one person smile today by telling them you're, you're fantastic, you've made the world a better place. Do you agree with that? I agree. Making people smile, and that's what Ellen does every day, of course. Exactly. She's, she's a brilliant um, <clears throat> comedian and, of course, a fantastic person. Now, you are the first person. Oh, I've got, I met one guy and he said he was gonna try to help me get on the show because mm -hmm. he got his friend on the show. But you know this, you know LA, it's all a bunch of hot air. Everyone brags, there's a whole bunch of bullshit. You know, everyone's a producer, everyone's got a script, you know, yeah, and yeah. everyone's a bunch of talkers. But you actually worked on the show? Yeah, I worked, um, well I was an intern. So I was there at Warner Brothers in general, uh -huh. but we had access to like most stages. Okay. So you got to network with people and stuff. So I know kind of like the basics of how. Yeah. You're, so you're yeah. telling me that um, it's a computer program that's deciding Based, a lot yeah. of these things. So tell me how that works. Um, it's basically people are submitting videos and it's fair though. Everything is, is honestly fair. And I mean, you have to go viral, let's say like on Twitter or Facebook, for example. Like, I don't know if you remember the... The viral young teen who went, who was doing something with Vance, and he was on Twitter, and his friend would post videos of him, and then they both got viral, and that's how they got on the show. Not sending like Ellen um, videos every single day, or people sending Ellen like requests. It was more like luck for them on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, you have to have a little luck. You actually suggested that I get out uh, next time I'm near the studio with my placard. What time did she arrive in the morning, do you know? Honestly, it's during the week, like 10, 11 a.m. That's what time she'll yeah. arrive? And do you know which gate she will come through? I do know which gate. I'll let you know after. We okay, cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am going to, I'm going to do it because, uh, well, one of the things is maybe you know, I sent her um, a video when I was Santa. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was oh, during wow. Christmas, obviously. And I was a great, I was a great Santa. But I'm going to be even a better Santa this Christmas because, as you can see, I'm growing my beard. Yeah. I had a beard. But Santa doesn't have a short beard. Santa has a long beard because he's hundreds of years old or thousands of years old, right? So um, I'm growing the beard, and it's getting longer every day. Um, and uh, I actually got signed with my agent recently. Yeah. He was going to um, make me um, Santa during Christmas, but he's going to put me in commercial before that. Oh, wow. So I, I, I met with my agent. I was, I've done a couple acting things. And, and I've done lots of different things. Acting's one of them. Producing's another. But um, I'm on a mission to get to Ellen. Ellen, I'm going to get to you. I'm going to meet you. He's going to do it. He's going to do uh, it. You know, you have to have goals in life, you know. And my goal is to get a million people being fantastic. A million people letting in. Imagine if, if all I accomplished was that everyone in L.A. starts letting people in, in traffic. How cool would that be? I know. Right? right? We need that. We need that. What we need is... The small town mentality. Are you from a small town or a big city? 
big city. Okay, but you know the small the small town mentality where everyone's saying hi, letting you in in traffic, opening doors for you, oh, yeah. volunteering, you know, um, uh, donating whatever. That's the mentality we can bring to the city. But right now we're gre we're breeding a greedy, selfish, litigious society because of the numbers. Look yeah. at these numbers. These people don't care about me. Matter of fact. There's a space in front of me. I'm going to get honked at in a few minutes. Yeah. Because actually. there's a space in front of me. And here's another thing. Everyone's rushing to red lights. That's an analogy of rushing through life. Do you, you get there any quicker if you rush to a red light and slam your brakes on? No. No. Well, I tell people when you see a red light, take your foot off the accelerator. Stop. Right. Please. So let me get back to Ellen. Did you meet her? I did. You did. Tell me about that meeting. Um, She's very very kind but she's very busy so I mean if, if it's not like scheduled to meet her then I completely understand why it would just be like a wave or a smile right, right. but um, I'm still hoping to I'm gonna apply again this summer okay good maybe that's when we get back in there yes maybe. you know there's no I'm no hurry in life everything has to happen when it's supposed to happen yeah you know if it's you meant for you to get me on the show and say Ellen you gotta meet this doctor fantastic because I mean where, do you know which restaurants she goes to because Tell me, like, tell me all the stuff you, you know. know I'm like, I know, you know what? There is a restaurant across the street from Warner Brothers that a lot of celebrities go to. I'm not sure if she goes there, but I know that a, a few. Yeah, that, that's that Mexican like place. That Mexican place. I think it's a Mexican. That's like yeah. their spot. I'll find out. But it's um. Okay, they well, told me. we're gonna be we're gonna team up here. I know. And you're gonna be uh, what I call because I think you're getting the movement right. You're understanding it. Yes. yes you're yes. feeling it. You're gonna be what I call an ambassador of positivity. These are people that are wanting the, the movement to move forward, wanting to make the world a better place. And, uh, cause I can't do it alone. There's no way I can do it alone. No. I mean, as positive I am about life, I don't think I have a goodest chance of doing it by myself as I do with a hundred people or a thousand people being ambassadors of positivity. Because you have a religion, right? Yes. We all have different religions. Yes. No one's gonna agree on that. You have a different political stance than everybody. Everyone has different politics. No one's gonna agree on that. But not a person on the planet can disagree with being positive. Knowing you got to believe when you do something, it's going to work out. You're going to get that next intern job. You're going to be. Uh, you're going to work with Ellen or whatever. You have to believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and positive thoughts manifest positive action. But you also have, also, you know, um, creating your destiny is what you is up to you as well. I always like to say you are your own movie. Mm -hmm. You're the star of your movie, and you're the director of your movie. And you're the producer of your movie. No, it's true. And you need to produce every scene in your movie to be fun, entertaining, um, motivational, inspirational, like in a good movie. Mm -hmm. You know, now you could have sat back there and said no to the interview and got on the phone or got on the headset and listened to music and ignored me. That would have been a bad scene in my movie. It would have been a waste of film in my movie. And it would have ended up on the cutting room floor in my movie. Yeah. But you didn't. You said yes brave young lady you are got in the front seat and you're taking place taking part of a uh, uh, uplifting interviews with total strangers yeah it's amazing thank you so now let me uh, ask about you um what's your dream what, uh, if you had to, uh, 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 a check to, uh, to write out how you could achieve your dream what would that be um honestly i've always been about helping people like even career wise anything that has to do with me helping a total stranger will make me really happy so I feel like whether being a doctor one day or a teacher or even just a psychologist giving advice, that's always been how I was raised and I've always wanted to help people. And I feel like I'm really good with kids. So I feel like anything that has to do with like the younger generation, because I mean, you make a greater impact at such a young age and whatever and you they, let them know at that age is going to reflect on their life. And they in say the future, that they're know? even getting... The scientists are even going back further and further, saying that one and two years old are extremely important. Yeah, you know? that's the I've read they're, about a, that. they're a sponge, yep. and they're taking it all in, all the positivity or the negativities. Now, um, as a um, Sorry philosopher, to you. it's oh. just going to be a left on this. Okay, as a philosopher, um, uh, what I find is parents are all. Every parent is an amateur. Yeah. Until they become a parent, and uh, my my theory is after six kids, they make less mistakes. But the problem, the biggest mistake they make is teaching us fear. Mm -hmm. They're teaching us fear every day. Don't climb the tree, you'll break your neck. If you don't go to school, you'll be a failure. Yeah. So there's all this fear put in our on our heads. 
And instead of having a super highway that's fast and we could go and achieve our dreams and go speeding down the highway, we have this treacherous, mountainous, perilous road to traverse. And they loved you, but they just, they blew it by making yeah, yeah, mistakes. Yeah. And their parents were amateurs, and their parents' parents were amateurs. So we're raised by a bunch of freaking amateurs. Yeah, amateurs yeah. And, uh, and to get through it, you need to talk to people that are smart. That's why going to school is real important because you, there's knowledge there. There's, and on well, my podcasts, which by the way is at BeFantasticToday.com, are all about improving your mind, your body, or the planet. No politics, no religion, just good information from really smart people, scientists, um, psychics, mediums, um, teachers, uh, doctors, mm -hmm. you know, people that are really, really smart that I have access to. Um, I just went to a, a Conscious Life Expo. It was last week at um, LAX, Hilton, and uh, I was like at Disneyland. All everybody you could see, everybody was into consciousness and motivationalness and, and, and what have you. And it was like a field day, just interviewing people left and right that are into you know creating a, a ascension, creating a better world. Yeah. You know, and unfortunately, with all these crowds here, we're just going down the road for the rich, the very rich. There's 13 families. They control all the wealth in the world, 95% of the wealth. And they don't want you doing anything but doing working your 8 to 5, going home, watching TV, and repeating. Because that's what keeps them on top. If we all start thinking like I think, and like these uh, these conscious life people think, it would be disruptive. Yeah. And and they wouldn't make the money. It's all about greed. It's a really, really greedy world. Yeah, I agree. And if we, if we have more people like you that want to do good, that want to help the kids... Um, and that's why I'm so happy to introduce this movement to the teachers, to the, um, the, the um, counselors, to the doctors and the nurses. These are people, when you come in contact with people, if you're not positive, that's, that's like, it's a cancer. Yeah. you thinking negative is a cancer. Negative people are cancerous. you got to get rid of those things. Know it's going to work out. Know it's going to be great. Know you're going to be happy. You know, the, the Rene Descartes said, said, I think, therefore I am. Yeah. Know, believe that you're happy. They say that two of the most important words in the English language are I am. And you should do those affirmations every day. I am happy. I am beautiful. I am successful. I am fantastic, you know. And and I think this is very, very important. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I agree with you. Everything is very, very, very important, actually. That's why I, I like your movement. Good. I, well, you're now an ambassador of positivity, number, number 12. Welcome aboard. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let, let's make it happen. It's Again, um, it's going to be a, a group effort. Um, I'm looking forward to doing speeches. I like one-on-one -on -one because I have your full attention. Yeah. That I can really hit, hit a home run when I have someone's full attention. Sometimes when there's two people in the car, it's not as easy. Yeah. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it on a stage. I've done a couple speeches so far. Um, but it's it's very motivating. I take people that are depressed in this car, and in 10 minutes I turn them around. They get out of the car think, think, thanking me for the blessing, you know, that I, I made them look at life a little differently. We need more people like you. We need more, more people that are spreading yeah. positivity. Again, everybody, it's pollinating. Be fantastic. Pollinate positivity. So you joined, right? I have my sticker. Did you sticker. get your sticker? You got your sticker. sticker? Oh, no, you got to put it on your phone. I'll give you a second one. It goes on the phone. Look at that. Show it off. What a beautiful phone. <laughs> and everybody in Malibu, the, the cup is going to be in Malibu. Um, my Be Fantastic mug, oh, coffee wow. mug. I've got a store to carry it out there. And um, we've got the Be Fantastic hat. You know, you got to have your little merchandising, yeah. right? You know? Be Fantastic, everybody. And um, any other closing quotes you want to give to the crowd to, to be to live a fruitful, beneficial, giving positive life all i have to say is join the movement be fantastic let's be that you know let's get to one million let's get one to million of one million of us we could do it and download the ellen tube app it's on your app oh, store yeah. it's, it's it's a big app though it is, it is. Um, and then you can delete it afterwards but no don't delete it ellen's great she's fantastic keep it keep it download it and recommend that dr fantastic be a guest because it's a it's the way we could spread being kind. Because everyone gets asked every day how they are. Imagine if everybody on the planet starts saying fantastic. That would make everyone happier. That would make everyone live longer. 
and that's the that's the that's the secret to being kind. And so everybody, download the Ellen app. Suggest yes. that Doctor Fantastic uh, be on the show. There's some great videos for Ellen on the on this channel. Like, subscribe, and be fantastic, everybody. Be fantastic. There you go. <laughs> bye bye. Hello, America. Do you have a product or a service? Would you like to increase your business, earn customer loyalty, spread patriotism, and thank our veterans for the service to our country? You can do all that by joining Supporting Our Servicemen, a 501c3 dedicated to helping and thanking our veterans. Please join today at ilovesos.org.